everyone, Pam Gregory, astrologer. October is going to be a really powerful month for us because it has two eclipses in it. But in this video I'm just going to talk about the first half of October which contains a total lunar eclipse on the 8th of October. But just stepping back a little, um, we have the background, the continuing background of the square of Uranus to Pluto, which we've had for a couple of years now, and that continues through till March 2015. And that's often described as powerful and intense, unpredictable and rapid change. But you could use exactly the same words for an eclipse. So here, with the total lunar eclipse, we're actually seeing the smaller cycle of the Moon reflecting the symbolism of the bigger cycle. That's one reason it's so powerful. The other reason is this total lunar eclipse is actually aligned with the Uranus-Pluto square. So it's really strong. It happens on the 8th of October at 11.50 a.m. UK time and it's at 15.05 of Aries. Now people who are likely to feel this most are people born any year between the 3rd to, to the 7th of January, 3rd to the 7th of April, 5th to the 9th of July or the 6th to the 10th of October. Now this is known as a blood moon eclipse because when the moon passes behind the back of the earth it will turn dark red. It will be amazing. Sadly we won't be able to see it from the UK but it'll be visible around the Pacific area and it can also be seen from North America. There's a very detailed chart of uh, eclipse visibility on the NASA website if you want to take a look at that. So always eclipses are about endings and beginnings. They're powerful pivot points in our lives, if you like, where the purpose is to accelerate our consciousness, to allow breakthroughs to happen over a short period of time. So very often people and circumstances can suddenly move out of your life to allow new people, new experiences, new energy to come in. So very strong, very strong total lunar eclipse. Feelings and emotions may be running um, quite high at this time because um, it's a lunar eclipse, lunar, the moon, um, always associated with feelings. But also Uranus is conjunct the moon. So that's to do with uh, emotional turbulence but also emotional awakenings. Again, breaking, breaking through to new levels, new understandings. And what's also important to um, emphasize this, this theme we have, Uranus is also conjunct the what's known as the south node of the moon. Now the south node of the moon is about our old habits, our old ways of being. Um, some people feel that actually comes from um, past lives, even that we, that we bring in with us. But when Uranus gets together, aspects the south node of the moon, it shakes it up. It shakes it up to, to move us forward to new habits and new ways of being. Because this total lunar eclipse also is, is aligned with the Uranus-Pluto square, we have Pluto in this chart squaring the sun and the moon. So Pluto, planet of transformation, it can also bring up issues of control, power, intensity, both in your, your own life and in the world, but it's very much the planet of um, personal transformation too. So it helps us to become aware of our own power and the scale of our own power. So what's also helping this urge to spiritual development is the fact that up until the 12th of October we have what's known as a grand trine. It's an equilateral triangle between Jupiter, Uranus and Mars in fire signs. Now you often see these aspects when new inventions um, are discovered. They're sort of breakthroughs in, in understanding. So it's a highly inventive aspect. It's courageous, it's daring, it feels exhilarating, it feels very liberating and free. 
And it's also about awakenings as well. It's about new visions for your life. And it's very much about expansion of consciousness. Seeing old things in new ways. Getting new perspectives on things. So this is very, very positive and helpful for our development during this very strong eclipse time. At the eclipse, the Sun and Venus are in Libra which of course is ruled by Libra. So here we have a very clear theme, which we've had for quite a while running now, of love and relationships. Jupiter is still in Leo. That's about heart energy. So we have this continuing message of needing to live from loving heart energy, learning to breathe in and out through our hearts and send out loving energy to wherever it's needed in the world. So in total, this total lunar eclipse is very much about an evolutionary jump in consciousness. It's going to be so interesting to see how this unfolds in your life. So where is 15 degrees falling in your life? Do you have a planet or an angle at between two degrees either way, 15 degrees of Aries or any of the cardinal signs? If you know where that falls in your chart, just watch for the few days before and after the eclipse to see what's changing, what's shifting, what's unfolding. Because it is a cycle of completion. It's a cycle of endings and then new beginnings. So just see what needs to shift in your life. What needs to close as an episode and where will new energy come in. And I wish you an amazing total lunar eclipse on October the 8th. Thanks for listening.